Hello everyone and welcome back to African Tech Gurus. On this video, we're going to cover the tasks for the preprocessor um, topic that we're going to cover today. And we've looked at the quiz and we've also looked at the content review in the previous videos. I'll leave the link in the description box or above on the right. So make sure you watch them before you actually do the tasks today so that you're able to understand exactly what we are supposed to do and what we are tackling today. So let us jump into the very first one. And the very first task is we've been told to create a header file that defines the macro named size. So that is the name of the macro that you're supposed to define as an abbreviation for the token 1024. So every time the macro size is used, it's supposed to reference 1024. So in this code that they've given us here, this should be 1024. So S should contain the summation of 98 and 1024, which is um, 1122. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create this directory that we have. So let me check if I have it. I don't have it. Um, so the next thing I need to do is I need to create it. So this is the directory I need to create. So mkdir and the name of the directory. Sorry, that is not quite right. Um, let me delete it and create it afresh. mkdir. Yes, so this is what you need to copy, copy, and paste it. Yes. Um, um, I've been able to make it. I don't know what the problem. Oh, the problem was the zero. So I've been able to create it. So let me create this file, which is zero main because that is what you need to run and make sure that we have it to be i and zero main that is the name of the file and we're supposed to copy all this that we have here before we actually put our solution so we copy that and paste it here so that when we run gc we are able to actually run it successfully so we paste that over here that is a block that you're going to use. Save it. So the solution for this is supposed to be in a file called object like macro.h. So vi and the name of the file you're supposed to have. And that is that. We have it there. So I have the solution for this one. So what you're supposed to do is you need to use if not defined such that if it's not defined we have it and we use the define um preprocessor directive to also create this macro and the specific one for the solution is this it's this is the solution it's very simple so we're just defining a macro called size that contains the token 1024 yes so this is the solution it's as simple as that such that each and every time the macro size is used in the block of code, which is um, in the file 0 main. It is replaced with 10.24. So let us put that and save it and run it. So now we can run GCC such that it uses the macro token. So let us see if that works. Yes, it's run successfully. So now we can run and hopefully it will give us 11.22. So it has actually run successfully and it has given us S as 11.22. So now we know that we are on the right path. So the next question that we have is we're supposed to create a header file that defines a macro that is called PI pi which is an abbreviation for the token 3141. Yes, this is the value for pi, which is used to create or find the area of a circle. So that is what you're going to use. So here they've used pi to get the area of a circle. So it is a constant. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create this file, one main. 
So the I and the name of the file, paste it there, and get this block of code such that when we run you see we are able to get the very same um result as what has been provided. So we save that our file, our answer should be contained in the file called one pi. So let us create that file. And my solution is here. So it's this simple. It's the very, very same thing as previously. So we're using define, which is the preprocessor directive. The name of the macro is pi and the token that it should contain. So it is that simple. And we have it here. And we paste it there. So now that we have our file and our solution, we can now save it. So let us um, escape and save it. And the next thing we can do, what we need to do is we need to run this GCC option. So let's copy it and paste it here. So we paste it and then we run it. And after that, it should give us an executable file called so let us run it and it will give us 3171. And indeed, it has given us 3171, which is the same as what we have on this side. So now we can move to the next task, which is um, we should write a program that prints the name of the file that it is compiled from. So if you remember in one of the quizzes, one of the quiz questions, there was something like that, which is the underscore file. Um, on the end, it was, I don't remember, but yes, this one. So this macro called underscore file underscore, what it does is it expands the name of the current file that you are using to um, input whatever it is that you're inputting. So that is what we're going to use for this one. So let us create um, that file called to main dot C. So now that we have the file created, you can get the solution. And this is the solution. Let me just copy it before we put it there. So remember the macro, which is underscore file. What it does is it expands the name of the current input file in the form of a C string constant. So that is what we need to have in our solution. So you can paste it here. Um, paste it here and then we can save it and we can run a GCC option which is this so just make sure you follow the steps that we have provided in this gray box because that is the steps that we want us to take and when we run that it gives us the name of the file and then the next thing we can do is um, we do this we copy then we copy what is contained in two main file into zero dash main two file. So just copy that as well and paste it there. And we can now run a GCC. And this will give us another executable file called uh, CC. And with CC, we can run that file, that executable file. And it will give us now the name of that specific file. So you can use this very same format for any file that you have in your PC or in any other environment that you're working on. So now we can move to the next task, which is we are supposed to write a function like macro, which is called ABS, that will compute the absolute value of any number that we've been given. So an absolute value um, is a value that is not assigned. So it is neither positive or negative. We're just getting the integer value as it is. So we can create this file, which is g main. Let's see, so we can clear this first. vi and the name of the file, three main dot c. Um, I think I already created it and this is the content that it contains, which is the same thing as this on this end. So as you can see, we have J, which contains the absolute of negative 98 multiplied by 10. And we also have 
J as well, which contains 98 times 10. So both um, I and J will both contain 980 because we are getting the absolute value of these numbers. So now we can save this and we can create the file that will contain the solution. So its name is three function like macro. So we can paste this here. And we can look at our solution. So our solution is this. We just have um, a macro which is called ABS, which takes in a value, which is X. And it will check if X is greater than zero. And it will give us a value that is not an integer. So we need, uh, that is not negative, sorry. So we need to get its integer value or its absolute value so we can copy that and have it here and paste it in our file that we've created and save and the next thing we need to do is we need to run the gcc option which is this so we can paste it here run the gcc option and give us a executable file called d and then we run it it gives us 980 which is the solution or the results that we were expecting so that means that we have created what they required of us which is a function like macro which is called abs that computes the absolute value of a number that we feed it in so the other one which is i believe the final one is uh we're supposed to write a function like macro which is called sum that takes in two values, x and y, and after that, it computes the sum of these two numbers that it's been given. So we have a file which is four dash main, so you can copy this. I might have created it earlier, so let us just um, paste this and see if it is there. Um, yes, it has the very same code as what is provided in this gray box for this solution for this task sorry so the next thing that you're supposed to do is you're supposed to create the file for dash sum so when we paste it here we have created the file it is empty so we need to create a function like macro so remember you can use macros to write functions which is easier and I feel like I might be using macros more in the future instead of having proper functions. So that's what we need to do. And let me paste it here before we explain what is happening. So we are using the keyword define, the preprocessor directive keyword define to create a macro, which is called sum that takes in two values or two arguments, um, which is x and y. And x and y are integers. And after that, it will sum up these two numbers, and this is what the processor command is supposed to be. It will take x and add it with y. So instead of putting an entire function, you can use this define um, to create macro like functions. Function like macro. Function like macro. It's a bit of a twister. Function like macros. And instead of having a lengthy function, I find this easier. And you can just reference and use sum anyway in your code if you have two or yeah, if you have two integers that you want to sum up. So I believe that is okay. So now we can exit and we can run GCC. So remember, our for dash main contains two values. It contains ninety-eight and ten twenty-four, which have been into the function sum and this is it so sum is supposed to take x and in our case x is 98 and it should take y and y in our case is 10 24 and sum these two numbers up and we've run gcc and it's given us an executable file called e so when we run e it will give us the sum of the numbers which is 11 to 2. so with that it's marked the end of the tasks for today's um um topic which is preprocessors and preprocessors um or preprocessing is a step in the gcc compilation stage and as we earlier looked at it therefore there is the preprocessing stage there is the compilation stage there is the 
um, the assembly stage, and lastly, there's the linking stage. So today we were specifically looking at the pre-processing steps, and this is one of um, the few ways we can use it, or some of the ways we can use it. There is more content up there, so I'd urge you to continue reading and continue learning and continue coding, and until next time, happy coding.